Hello, Faja. Hello, Mammy. Today, Professor Ludwig von Fotpants. Hey, um, old time I wanted to see a little demo of uh, uh, sharpening. Um, I would usually do this out in the woods right on the right on the Ryan's head. You guys have seen me do it before. I'll flip it over on the bar out and I can just stand there and file them. Grind them. You don't even have to take the chain off. It's fast. It's efficient. And I usually use my cordless grinder which is packed out in my truck so um, I actually have one in the machine too but so I'm just using a regular bench grinder let's see if it works yeah. so now I do have obviously I have regular bench grinders in here and I could do it on that there's another one like I don't know something spring broken out of something but it's still a good grinder it's gonna figure out the work. but anyway I don't even use them very very seldomly anymore I just don't I find this to be much quicker I mean if I was in the shop like I am now yeah I'd just probably use that but this works very good and it's just a matter of muscle memory and getting your your chain the way you want it you know and holding the tool the way you need it and blah blah it's just a matter of muscle memory now I do like the cordless because you don't have the cord to dick around with you know but so, uh, one thing I find with the cordless and old timer, you might have had, you said something about one of your guys is really grinding the gullet out. Probably all they're doing is setting, come here, they're probably just, it, thanks, Sammy. They're probably setting the, the grinder wheel too low in the tooth. Now, this thing was just off the wall. I don't even know what the story, I, I can see it's been all stoned. I'm just doing this for a demo. But, you know, you, if you've got an old bar, even just a worn-out bar, you could stick it in a vise in your truck. I do that sometimes. You can do this. If you get good at this part of it, you can just lay it over a log, over the track on a machine. You know, it's better if it's in the guide bar because, you know, you don't get the tooth moving around too bad. But all I do with this, all I'm going to do is duplicate what I would do with a hand file. You know, you're going to be the same angles. Like when you put this thing in, you want to be about a 55 degree here. You know, instead of 45 would be like that. You want about a 55 degree there. Okay. And then your your angle on your tooth, I'm usually at 25 or 30 degrees. You know, which if you bring them too much to a point, I think you're putting more pressure on your point. It's like a high heel shoe. You know, you're getting more and it seems to peen the teeth that it doesn't last it'll cut a little maybe more aggressive but it doesn't last that long so i try and get well maybe a 25 degree angle you know the same angle that you would find on the smaller chainsaw teeth you know they they usually have the guide on them those are 404s yeah there's a 3h chain you know you can see the line you guys all know what i'm talking about it's the same thing i mean you're looking about 25 degrees 30 degrees so that's what I would try and maintain that on. Now, for some reason, on the machine, um, it's kind of hard when you turn this way, I think. All right? I guess... Come over here, Lori. If you would, Mia Marie. I guess it's not going to be an issue with this. For some reason, it seems like my, my um, cordless... Is a little bulkier here and I have a problem sometimes one way or the other I think it's this way I kind of have a problem getting the grinder in it seems to hit on this and you know what it might be it might be one of them stupid safety rings or something that I ripped that crap off throw it in a dump anyway because safety is somewhere down on the list it ain't first with me <laughs> but anyway yeah I rip all that crap off but so all you're trying to do is match you know kind of a, a factory angle and everything you know again you want your 55 degrees and you you know so i don't know who ground this one but they got a little carried away but one thing i found with the cordless is in order to get both angles get in there without fudging up the uh the angle without bumping on the raker do this see how your wheel is concaved flip it around okay 
and even if you wanted to do that with one side but you can grind on the paper side of the of the wheel too but like it gives you a little bit more versatility see you got a lot more room I uh, I, I learned that one especially I don't think it's gonna matter on this grinder so I'll put it back on the other way but either way you can monkey around it'll work just as good inverted but I found that on, on one of the I think it's the Milwaukee's it just gives you a little bit more room to monkey around without bumping into stuff and you can get your angles really good. I'm getting, I've gotten really good at this, and I just assume sharpen them. Like, I'll just carry one chain. Oh, uh, North Carolina Timber Slasher, too. He he was talking about wanting to learn to do this. Because you don't even take it, I mean, I just carry the thing with me. You can plug your charger in, your inverter. Uh, if you got a 12 volt system, you just plug it into a cigarette lighter. If you got a 24 volt, you'll need an inverter to change it from 24 to 12. And then you can bring your battery pack charger and stick it behind the seat and just have a spare battery or take your battery off and charge. You have a charged battery all the time. I also carry all of these. Okay, you guys, I think I've done videos on that. But I'll carry all of my straps. You know, the male. Well, that's an old one. That's a one I ground. But my master links. Okay. I'll carry all those. I'll carry, you know, 10 or 12 of those with me. And, um, you know, like right here, I've got, I've got female straps here. I've got, uh, these are the drive links, right? Those are your drive links for your chain. Uh, I've got left and right cutters. And I have a, I have a, one of them peanut butter pretzel jars behind the seat in the machine, and I keep all the stuff with me. So, generally, I'll usually carry one spare chain, because if I really bend it, or I'm in a hurry, I don't have time to, but I can fix the chain, I can build it right, right as I'm working. <laughs> and your grinder also works perfectly for that, because, you know, if you bend a chain, and you gotta take a link out, or you, want, you know, whatever, break it, just grind your rivets off with this and then just snap the chain, you know, just and then put your new links in or whatever you got to do. And then I have you can you can tape these to not smash your fingers all the bits. You can tape these when you put these uh, links together. Again, this is a ground link here. This is a used link. <laughs> I've been desperate be before, believe it or not, and, you know, I'll put them, if I didn't have links, I'd put them together and tack them, weld them so they can, you know, so like, but anyway, that, that's a used link, but what you can do is once you put your chain together, um, you can tape that, and it'll hold it, a couple of strands of electrical tape, and it'll keep it together, and then what I do is just manipulate it around on the track, like on this right here. There's a track pad and just put that rivet on that, you know, and then you beat the piss out of it with a ball peen hammer. And you just got to make sure you pound both sides down evenly. Another thing that I did, I found a really cool set of vice grips. Um, and I keep them right in that jar of spare parts. But that little pair of vice grips, it's got like a needle nose vice grip. And if you flip them over so the handle comes up this way, you can just vice grip them. And then you can grab it and move it over and bong, bong, bong. And then move it over and bong, bong, bong. Your chain's done. Fixed. So I think it saves a lot of time. Because usually I'm half a mile down in the woods somewhere. And to me, it's just a dreadful time walking out. Wasting time. You know? So I keep everything with me. I can do a video in the woods on it too. But I wanted to show you guys how I arrive at my... And, and these... I, I'm getting them to cut really good. I mean, you... Some of these things wore down pretty good, and they, they cut good, you know. I mean, down to, you know, a third of the tooth or something, and it's just throwing them away. But here you go. I'll show you a little demo. All I'm doing with this, I'll usually, I'll, like when I'm on the machine, I usually go down one direction, and then I'll just flip over and come up the other direction. Then I'll spin the chain to where I stopped. Do the same thing go down one direction you gotta ain't gotta re, re, redirect your angles and 
but it's muscle memory. So here I'm going to try and match that. I can show you. chain was pretty boogered up you know obviously it had been stoned this was a chain off of a 3550 head i think but whatever it'd been sitting in here for, i mean you turn around and look at all the chains i got hanging you know so i mean i got a lot of them they're all marked for different crap that we've had and used but you can see right here i'm pretty much duplicating what i would have you know on this you know what i mean but you get decent at it, and you still can create the hook, a little bit of a, you can bring the camera behind. You can see you want a little bit of the gullet gone, but you don't need to get way down into the strap. It's not going to really hurt anything if you do. It just weaken your tooth a little bit. But that, believe it or not, that'll cut really good, you know. And uh, so you can see what happens with this chain too. Let me hold the camera. Oh, God. Me. Yeah, I know. I shouldn't touch anything no, like this. But it. you can see... Okay, here. No, you do it. You got it now. <laughs> okay. Don't touch a button. I won't. Okay, you can see on this stuff... Uh, on, on Now, this one happens so much on a slasher chain. But on a... On the... A felling head chain. If you notice what happens... See how this one's... Where is it? Right here. See the edge off of that? Now, it will cut pretty good. I, I mean, it's just like a chainsaw... It won't last as long as if it hadn't been stoned. You know, you're gonna it'll dull up quicker because that's been softened some. You know, and the hardening's off it. But it'll still cut pretty good. It only takes two seconds to refile, so I don't get too carried away with that. I'll just repair it and go for a while. You know, like I said, it won't last quite as long as if it hadn't been rocked. But it still cuts good. All right. So but what's happening? What's happening with this is one side because on, when it's on the head like that one side will hit more, you know, because it's facing the ground. So you end up, after a while, you might have to do a little more grinding on the opposite tooth to get it equal. But it works good. You know, and you can see these, see the cutting surfaces are pretty, pretty good, you know. And you try not to stay on them too long and turn them all blue. And if you do, just let them cool for a second, go back and hit them again and take the blue off it. You know, but that yeah, works good. So obviously it wouldn't take me very long. I could sharpen that chain in probably two or three minutes. So, but I hope you guys like that. I hope it's helpful. Um, so, uh, I can do another one in the woods too. But I thought I'm just, I just put the power steering pump back in the auto car today. And I'm going to go home and do a little cookout here. It's Labor Day. So happy Labor Day, everybody. And, uh. Anything else you guys want to see, you know? Hey, ask me. I love it. I love everybody's comments. and uh, love you uh, being a part of the channel. Um, I'm going to try and do a little bit more stuff as I get a chance to. It's been very hectic, you know. But I can just leave this in here. I don't have anything that fits right at the moment. But uh... Alright, well, we'll go back to the ranch, Mammy. Oh, I got a couple of things I want to show everybody, too. But I'll do that. Later. Do another day. Thank you. Ta-ta, y'all. Have a good day.